Good afternoon and welcome back to Antarctica. So today's job has got me dropping off a group of scuba divers at Cape Evans and I'm probably going to stay with them for a couple of nights. So to start with we drive from Scott Base, it takes about two hours dragging a big heavy sled behind the Haglin out to Cape Evans and that's where we set up camp. So in this video I'm just going to show you kind of the ins and outs of getting an Antarctic dive camp set up. So yesterday I was out here and the Americans actually drilled us a dive hole which was pretty cool to watch. They did one and a half dive holes and then their drill broke um, so hopefully they're coming back tomorrow to finish the second dive hole. To dive down here with Antarctica and New Zealand you've got to have two dive holes just in case you come up to your original dive hole and there's a seal sitting in it. You have to have a reserve hole. So this is our setup. We've got a Haglund towing, a Haglund sled and in that big cuba box on the back there is a lot of the divers gear and then over in the distance you can see they've got a PB100 as well and that's towing another sled with some fuel and the rest of the dive equipment. So the Haglons that we drive down here are amphibious vehicles, they're designed so that if they do break through the sea ice that we don't just sink straight to the bottom. They've got bilge pumps so they'll be able to stay floating at least for long enough to get everyone safely off the vehicle. So this little hut that I'm in right now is built by the Antarctic Heritage Trust and as far as I know it's gifted to Scott Base. It's two containers stuck together and inside it's got a nice warm Sigma stove here which runs on diesel tank outside that'll last it for a few weeks. So anywhere in Antarctica that you've got shelter and a heater is amazing. So this is kind of going to be the base for Ian Halls and his dive crew for the few days that they're out here at Cape Evans. So over behind me here you can see the main dive hut and it's basically a shipping container on skis, on sleds. It's got a hole in the floor and it's got some trap doors that open up and down below that is the main dive hole. Over here behind me now is the reserve hole. So that's just in case a seal comes up into that main hole and divers have to go to the secondary hole. This one is the one that's not drilled yet. Hopefully tomorrow that gets finished. Back in 2016 February, I was actually on a ship which was parked, I anchored pretty much where that hut is right now, and we came and landed on the beach here in front of Scott's hut in Zodiacs, and we explored the hut with about 50 of the passengers on board. That was with Heritage Expeditions on the Spirit of Enderby. That was my first time here at Cape Evans. Little did I know that two years later I'd be working as a field trainer at Scott Base and would be coming out here every week or two. Ever since we arrived here at Cape Evans today we've been looking into the distance and seeing emperor penguins kind of about one kilometre out offshore. So we decided to go for a drive now that we've finished work for the day and there looks to be about 40 emperor penguins.
So it's getting late, must be about 10 or 11 o'clock, it's really hard to tell without looking at a clock because as you know Antarctica doesn't get dark so um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed shortly. Um, this is where I'm going to be sleeping tonight, so I'm sleeping in the back of the Haglin. This brown bag here is my sleeping kit, so it's got two big thick sleeping bags and a liner, so that's really really warm. Um, and I'm going to be sleeping on this mattress here as well, uh, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. And if I do get really cold in the middle of the night, up here I've got a heater that I can turn on as well. Not that I'll need that because the sleeping bag I'm sleeping in would keep me warm at negative 40 to 50 at least. So tonight I don't know, must be about negative 20 is my guess. And it's a bit windy right now so it's pretty chilly actually. Righto, so I will see you tomorrow. Welcome to day two. Just managed to get myself out of the sleeping bag. Pretty nice and warm in the sleeping bag. Didn't want to get out, but I know I had to. Looks like the emperor penguins are still here, off in the distance. Probably a little bit hard to see. There's about six of them still there. So it's not too cold this morning. Feels like it would be about negative 15. No wind, which is nice. Good morning. The divers are getting ready now to do some diving. So I'm going to try my own little science experiment, which is putting a GoPro on a rope down to the bottom, just to see what's down there. Now he is diving under the sea ice here and they're doing some ongoing research. So he's been coming here for many years and they've got some instruments down on the sea floor under the sea ice here um, and they dive out of this hut. So we've been setting up this camp for the last couple of days. We had to drag out the little green hut. Um, we had to get the fire going and the Americans came and drilled the actual dive hole. That's the hole that um, Ian and his team dive through. So I'm inside the dive hut now and we have two holes drilled so now we can start diving. Uh, behind me you can see the hole and the ladder that the divers go in and out of and then most importantly down behind me here is the Sigma stove. It's a, it runs on diesel and this is what keeps the divers warm and enables them to be able to dive into negative 1.8 degree water. Uh, we're on channel 3 and we are about to commence dive operations for the day. Tools, equipment, some of the pressure's okay, and the valves are open, gloves are on.
Well, Ian's been coming down for 40 years uh, to dive. This is only my second year. The dives that we've just done today, we've laid out uh, two transect lines and we've got one diver doing video transect of the lines. He'll take three passes of it and then stitch that footage together and it will come out as a 3D image uh, video and then we can identify different sponge species or uh, any invertebrates that we might see on that line. Uh, we're also taking sediment samples and we are collecting a few invertebrates um, and echinoderms, so some starfish and they will be uh, used for scientific research as well. Uh, we've just uh, picked up a instrument that was on the bottom and that uh, takes readings of light, temperature, pH, um, conductivity and it's all to do with uh, temperatures of the the water columns. So that's us for the day. I'm going to head back to Scott Base now and take Ian's dive tanks back to McMurdo to be refilled. Hope you liked this video. I'm pretty sure it was one of my more interesting ones. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And otherwise, until my next Antarctic adventure, thanks for watching.